the next thing that happens is ultimately all weight training doesn't allow you to move through your power center right so if I use a resistance especially that doesn't allow me to move through my power center it is going to create a stiffness and a compensation in my movement my power center means that I'm moving and absorbing the impact and creating the force through my center out right so when I take a heavy weight and I place it either you know on my shoulders or in my hands or at the end of my legs it takes the, the, the muscle recruitment away from my center, the absorption away from my center, and it starts to train it to move away. So it's one of those things that you got to be really careful. And I think athletes get away with it a little bit more because they're still continuing to do their sports. So they're moving through that central potent, that center uh, power center type of movement. But when they quit their sports, and you see this in, in adults, they start training these isolation movements. They end up developing more and more and more problems from that. So when you're going to do uh, uh, resistance training, understand that you're, you've got to be really careful with doing too slow of movements if you're looking for the result of speed or explosive power. And also, also you've got to be really careful that you're going to distract your attention away from your rotational movement in your power center and create that stiffness in the movement. When you look at a lot of bodybuilders, it's easy to see they're really stiff and they have a hard time moving, right? You don't want to end up like that. So be smart with the way that you're training and look for a, a, a better program something like we have offered here at Revolution.